Next light I'm going to talk about is the target light. So this is the light I was showing in the previous video. I'm going to select it and just delete it. I'm going to go to View, Frame Default to get back to where we started. In the drop-down menu, I'm going to choose Target Light. And what comes into the Object Manager are two things, the light and this light.target.1. The target uh, will come in by default at 0, 0, 0. So let me scroll out here and so we can see the light. Here's my light. It's pointing to 0, 0, 0. If I grab like the x-axis <clears throat> and move it, um, it's always going to point to where the target is, and the target is at 0, 0, 0 right now. So if I always wanted it to point at the sphere, <clears throat> and the sphere is going to move or whatever, what I can do is come over to the object manager, choose light.target.1, and make it a child of the sphere. So let me come back to my uh, viewport here. So I'm going to select the sphere, and I'm going to move the sphere, and the light will uh, follow the sphere, because the, the target is within the sphere. And that's about all I really want to talk about with the target light. The target light has the same uh, parameters as the spotlight, which I briefly went over and introduced in the previous video. So um, in the next video, I'll talk about area lights.